Returning to the front of the Vega, we can see here that the grill, the so-called egg crate grill mentioned earlier, is in fact not integral to the body. You can see it's slightly separate. So I'm going to make a separate model now, which will involve duplicating the integrated part that I had originally, moving it out, deleting what's left of the original, and then reinstalling with a thicker outer edge and a smaller overall shape. So here I'm selecting the grill. In theory, this will make it much easier to build the Vega GT later because I can delete all of this. And there will be the correct textures and materials inside that intake. The outer edge of the intake will be duplicated and, as I said, made smaller, scaled down. And the outer edge of the intake will be the only part of the original grill which will remain, with its material being converted to the black material, with the black texture assigned to it, of course. So there I've moved my duplicate grill out, which I achieved by selecting the entirety of the original grill, hitting Shift-D to duplicate, and then moving out. But I'm going to delete all the faces of the original grill there, clearing out that intake. And you can see my duplicated grill is out front there. So here I have to select the entirety of the intake, turn it all to the black material. And while I'm at it, make sure the texture is correct. And getting back to the grill itself, the new grill. The way I build it is relatively simple. I just have to scale it down so that it will fit with a thicker outer edge. So first I have to select everything. There, I scaled it down. Now I extrude each of those outer faces. Originally I wasn't sure if this would work because a lot of the time you run into errors when you do this, but in this case it seems to work just fine. So you can use E to extrude or use the menu as I did there. So I do it for each side. And this will not be the correct size in the end. This will have to be rescaled, as you'll see. And I would imagine the dimensions of this are technically incorrect because I don't have the correct drawings on me. All of this is basically eyed. And this is, as I said in a previous video, the disadvantage of modeling a very rare car. If you don't own the car, getting the dimensions right is guesswork. It's very, very hard to find real blueprints. Of course, ironically, the Vega was not rare originally. They built over a million of them, actually. But they ran so badly, unfortunately, that very few survive today. So extrude the bottom edge there. And there we have the grill model. So when you select all of it, we then can scale it to fit into the space of the intake. To do this isn't common knowledge. Basically, you have to hit the S key to scale and then double-click either X, Y, or Z, depending on which axis you want to scale on, because this will only work correctly if you scale on just one axis. 
And it took me a little bit of research to find that out because bizarrely I had never done it before. I had only scaled entire models on a particular axis. Never one part of a model. Here is the result anyway. So then I am doing the rectangular select there to do each side separately. I could have also done the thing overall, but it's easier to line up if I do it this way. You can see it can be a little bit tricky to do because it's a combination of scaling and moving to eye it into place. And now I select the whole thing and I install it in the intake just by moving on one axis. I'm making sure I have the correct view here. I also have to unwrap it before I do that, so that's another step. Because it now has a completely new UV map, because it's a, basically a new model. So I have to find a place for it here on the texture. And I'll clean this up later, of course. You'll see that there's a lot of tweaking that can be done to make this a better UV map. But in any case, I now check the location of the UVs, and I notice that my bezel UVs down there are still selected, just like in my previous part. So I'm going to move the different parts around to get them in the right position. Speeding ahead here to do the selection more quickly. So I've got to move those bezels in a correct position. One of the problems before, as you can see, is I put them over the license plates. And if I want to have a license plate that's not white, that's going to be a bit of a problem. So it's best to move them down to the other light parts there. So back to the model. Now we actually move it. Rectangular select, and now we got to move. So there it is, more or less intact, fitted correctly, more or less. I'm adjusting it a little bit there. Not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it is more realistic and maybe easier to work with than I had it than what I had before. So, giving it a good look over here. Moving it around a little bit more to see what the best position is. As I've said before, a lot of the Vegas, especially the later ones, didn't get it, and I suspect a lot of owners removed these also. But anyway, there's the egg curate grill in place, and now clean up the UVs a little bit more. But this is going to require a proper rebuild, so that will be the next tutorial. We're going to redo the UV map properly, because now the model's been altered enough so that it's time for a redo. But in the meantime, there's our model. Thanks for watching.